everyone. Settle in here. Chilly afternoon. Late afternoon, early evening. Payoff number three. And strike three to Scott. Through the breaking pitch. Got him looking one out. It was a good battle by Scott, but a really good executed pitch there by Hickman. Curveball, backdoor on the outside corner. Just got it. Two ball, two strike count. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. And back-to-back -back strikeouts by Hickman to start the game. It seems like every game starts about the same way for Vanderbilt in the first inning. Yep, Commodore pitching staff really sets the tone. Another really good breaking ball in the outside corner. Kaler worked another good at bat. This time, she's not able to. No ball, two strike count. Makes quick work of Debiter to end the inning. Three hitters, three strikeouts for Mason Hickman. He had a dozen a week ago tonight. And three in the first inning to begin this game, the fastball. 13 hits in his first 39 trips to the plate. And he's really good at that. Bunt first base side. You better hurry up and get over there. No chance to get Davis. Leadoff man aboard. Senior catcher. Fly ball to left. Likely in the inning is best. Ranges toward the line, makes the catch. The side is retired. A hit and one left for Vanderbilt. And get a two-out hit, bring home a run. Payoff pitch. Didn't get it. Foul tipped into the mid of Duvall, and that ends the inning. A base hit and one left. Five strikes. Pitch a couple times. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Bounced out to short. Kaler tried to play it off the turf. Beza couldn't get the scoop, and for the second straight inning, Vanderbilt has the leadoff man on. A pretty solid play by Kaler just to get to that ball. We see he had a good first step, used a spin move to get a little bit of ump on the ball, but we have seen, as we take a look at this angle, if you're a shortstop, you can use the turf to kind of lay that ball out there a little bit easier for your first baseman, because Beza trying to pull Paulson. Able to work around a base runner to start the first, but now has him at first and second. As he issues his first. A lot of raw talent there. Big bouncer right side on two and two. The only play will be to first as the runners move up on the bounce out by Thomas to Meow. The second and third for Harrison Ray. Paulson to the plate. Liner right center gets down. Going to bring in two. Jones sprints to the plate. Safe. And Vanderbilt leads 2-0. Thought I might have spoken too soon. <laughs> it was a close play. <laughs> And those two runs don't score if Thomas doesn't move them over. That shows you the value of that at bat from Thomas and that bat before. So fastball on the outside corner. Ray does a really good job shooting it the other way. And a nice relay from Scott, the right fielder, all the way into the plate. And a close play with Duarte. You see here, Spencer Jones just slides that left foot in past the tag. Last week to left field and another base hit. Ray's going to put on the brakes at second. And with one out, Commodores again have two men on base. Two on with one out. And that pitch got a piece of him, so the bases will be loaded for Parker Nolan. This is loaded, just trying to get something up in the zone and get in the outfield, but that's not what you want to do. Four to six. And over to first, not in time. The shortstop, Kaler, had trouble getting the ball out of his glove, and the Commodores get another run as Ray scores to make it 3 nothing. I was going to say, Paulson's just trying to put something low in the zone so he can get a nice little double play, and he got exactly what he wanted to get the 4-6-3. Perfect start to it. Meow, and then a little bit of a bobble there from Kaler. I think that's what... Allowed Nolan to be safe there at first base. As you see the bobble from Kaler on the transfer. But he out in the third instead. He bounces one off the mound, and really it was a break for Hawaii. That might have been a base hit. It's an out at second as Kaler fielded and flipped to Meow to end the inning. Three runs, three hits. My dad actually pitched one of those games. Oh, yeah? This one hit high and deep to right center. Thomas circles and can't get to it. Up against the fence. Beza has an extra base hit. A double to start inning five. I think the wind 
just kept carrying that ball, carrying that ball right in between both Martin and Thomas. And the ball was hit very well. Fastball supposed to be outside, ran back over the middle of the plate. And Beza put a pretty good charge into it, but right in between right field and center field. For Beza. But will advance him to third as Hickman fields and throws. One out. One, two, fouled. Asho is a swing and a miss. The ball gets away. You saw Beza come home to score to make it a 3-1 game. Yeah, Kevin, I thought it was off of Meow's bat as well. But the way that creamed so close over there to the Commodore dugout, we take a look here. But it was off of the mask of Duvall. That's why it went so far. A heads up play. So a strikeout and a wild pitch gets Hawaii on the board. There's strikeout number eight. Wraps things up in the fifth. A run on one hit and one left. Hawaii gets on the board. Vanderbilt three. Wilson trying to avoid walking the leadoff man. Can't do it. Ball four. Four pitch walk to Austin to start the or with one out in the fifth. Yeah, not in the worst thing in the world. I feel like they had a new one every year. Oh, man, they have all kinds of them. That's going to be a ball call that will send Martin down to second base. Take a look and see. Did he come set? I don't think he did. The ball's got to go to work. One, two, back up the middle and gets through. Martin waved to the plate. RBI single by Duvall makes it four to one, Vandy. That's a sign of a good hitter. Your senior hitter regroups with two strikes, able to send that right back up the middle. We take a look at the swing. Fastball in a pretty good spot there from Polson. Down on the zone. Duvall able to go down and get it. Score Martin all the way from second base. And Duvall down at first. Back to the mound. Can they get two out at second? The relay to first by Kaler ends the inning. A 1-6-3 double play off the bat of Keegan. One run. Trying to bury it. I'll just kind of flip it in there for a strike. Trying to come back to it. That one might actually have slipped out of his hands a little bit. It looks like, I don't know if it, it hurt. Well, Ty Duvall kind of follows him back out to the mound. Yeah, because you, you mentioned that that fastball or that curveball before that looked a little bit different than the one he, he has been pitching. And he, I looked at the miles per hour and it was a lot lower and a little less tight over a spin. Scott Brown out to check on him. And they are not going to take any chances with him. Well, this is nothing major here. Is a you know, Hickman threw that that big looping breaking pitch for a strike, and now it's going to come out of the game after he threw one more pitch. Sam Leboke is going to come in for the Vandy bullpen. We're going to stay here and kind of watch what happened a couple pitches back. Hickman heads to the dugout. He has been excellent again tonight, six and two-thirds. Two outs here in the seventh. You see him kind of look over and uh, motion toward the dugout. He kind of signaled Scott Brown to come out here and have a little conversation. We'll be praying that everything comes back okay, and that's quick work by Laboki. Laboki throws one pitch. It's a strike to Duarte to end the inning. And a walk and a 3-1 pitch. Vanderbilt has the leadoff man on in inning seven. Ball. No balls, one strike. Runner goes. Throw bounced down to second. And safe is Noland. He has his second steal of the season. No one had been.
been checking out Atkins, trying to get a little bit of an extra lead. Got a pretty good jump. I think that was going to be a little bit of a closer play than it should have been because the left look. Payoff. Up the middle. See if Duvall's delivered again. No one rounds third. Scores easily. A second RBI of the night for the Vanderbilt catcher makes it 5-1. to one. Just a great piece of hitting by your senior catcher with two strikes. With Atkins, it kind of starts that ball behind your hip. He stays in there on the fastball and shoots it right back up the middle, and that's all you got to do to score your teammate from second base. Commodore's able to attack one more on here in the seventh. That'll do it. Sam Laboki outstanding. Retiring all seven he faces. The Commodores win 5-1 over Hawaii to start off this weekend series. Five runs, eight hits, an error, and eight left on for Vanderbilt. One run, two hits, no errors. Two left on for Hawaii. Mason Hickman gets the win. His second in as many Friday nights. Big hit back in the second inning by Harrison Ray to bring in two runs. Commodores get the job done again.